good afternoon everyone welcome to bisp solutions this is farha alam and in this tutorial series we are learning about the otbi reporting tool and we had created so many different analysis in our previous session and whatever analysis we had created in our previous session basically we had uh, used uh, only the single subject area by using single subject area we had created all those analysis so the so the question comes over here is can we use more than one subject area within the single within the single analysis so the answer is yes we can use or we can use more than one subject area within the single analysis or we can create our analysis by using more than one subject area so in order to use more than two subject area within the single within the single analysis uh, let's uh, go to the instance and see how do we create our analysis by using two subject areas so here i am in the pi catalog right now and uh, as we are creating the analysis by using two subject area so uh, we have to create uh, uh, the analysis right so we have to click on this analysis uh, create option and under this create we have to click on this new analysis option then it will open uh, the subject area window before us so here is the subject area window and uh, from here we can select our subject area so as here we are uh, uh, basically seeing the uh, financial subject area and under finance we are using the payables invoices transactions real time one so i am uh, selecting this one for creating the analysis so here the subject area uh, window has opened so selected subject area window has opened and here we uh, need to include the columns in the analysis so i am expanding this invoice detail uh, folder and under this invoice detail folder i am going to expand this general information dimension and uh, as uh, uh, i am going to include uh, some uh, two three measures from this uh, subject area as we all have become familiar with this subject area payables invoices transactions real time and basically we use this subject area to create the invoice detail so i am going to include the invoice date in the analysis and next uh, invoice number so here i have included the invoice date in the analysis next i am going to include invoice number if we want then from the invoice uh, amount dimension i am going to include the invoice amount in the analysis this is the one and total tax charge so these are the these are the measures or columns which uh, i have included by in from this subject area payables invoices transactions real time and under this one i have selected the invoice detail dimension and under this particular dimension i have selected these two dimension which is the general information and the invoice amount by using these two dimensions i have selected these columns from this subject area now the uh, now how do we include another subject area in the analysis so here we have uh, uh, the option called show more click on this option or these arrows double arrows and here we have an option add or remove subject area so i am going to click on this one as uh, we are going to learn how to use two subject area within the analysis and here uh, in the top most uh, 
area we can see that the payables invoices transactions real time uh, as uh, already selected over here as it is the base subject area by using this one we have uh, created our analysis so by default it is selected now we can select uh, another subject area in for the analysis so this time i am going to select uh, the supplier real time information so search for that one here is the subject area supplier supplier real time to so i am going to so i am going to select this one uh, i am going to select this one so select this one and click on okay and here we can see that uh, the supplier real time information subject area is has also included in our uh, analysis so expand this one and select the measures which you want to include from this subject area in the analysis so this time i am going to include the supplier name and i am going to select the supplier name and after selecting supplier name i am going to include some supplier count information so i am going to include the number of suppliers and number of supplier sites so these are the columns which i have uh, inserted or included uh, by using this subject area supplier supplier real time and uh, after uh, selecting all these things i am going to click uh, on the results tab so that we will be able to see some results for this one here we have invoice date invoice number invoice amount uh, and total tax charge these columns basically belongs to the uh, payables invoices transactions real time subject area and next we have supplier name number of supplier site number of suppliers and number of supplier sites these uh, columns belongs to the another subject area which is uh, supplier supplier real time subject area and next uh, what next i have to do i have to just save this analysis so click on the save option and select the destination folder as bi analysis editor is our destination folder provide the name as i am providing the name over here otbi analysis with two subject areas so this is the name which i am giving for this one two subject areas after providing the name click on okay so the analysis has so the analysis has been saved over here with this name let's go to the catalog option and search for the analysis which we have just created which is otbi analysis with two subject area open this one so here is our subject area uh, here is our analysis with two subject areas so this is about how we can use how can we use two subject area within the single otbi analysis this is about this one and next i am going to show you how do we work with the calculated fields in the otbi analysis so how do we perform some kind of calculations in the otbi analysis so let's go ahead and see so for performing some calculations or to show you how do we work with calculated fields in the otbi analysis i am using this uh, uh, analysis which we have just created so i am just going to click on this added option as here we are going to 
perform some calculations or we have to uh, i'm going to show you how do we work with the calculated fields in this uh, in the otbi analysis so what we have to do we just uh, have to in the top option available over here in our results tab we have an option called new calculated measure so i am going to select this one click on this one and here it will going to ask the uh, folder heading or a column heading and uh, if we want to uh, obviously we are performing some calculations so we have to uh, use some formulas or some operators from here so as i am going what uh, i will do over here uh, i am going to uh, count the number of suppliers and number of supplier sites so uh, i am uh, adding the uh, performing the addition for the number of suppliers and number of supplier sites so i am going to click on new calculated fields and here we have to provide the column heading so i am going to provide the name over here total number of suppliers and uh, supplier sites and next we have to select uh, the Uh, subject area and under subject area we have to select the uh, dimension and under dimension we have to select the columns on by using which columns uh, we are performing our calculation so i am use uh, on which column i am going to perform my calculation number of suppliers and number of supplier sites i am adding these two columns in the analysis and uh, providing the name total number of suppliers and supplier sites so click on number of suppliers select the the column or measure and click on this add column so that uh, so what will happen that particular column will going to uh, in uh, inserted in the column formula uh, window and next uh, i am going to apply this uh, operator plus as i am going to add the number of suppliers and number of supplier sites and next uh, i am going to select the number of supplier sites after providing the plus operator click on this one and after providing all these things we have to click on this okay and uh, here we can see the total number of suppliers and number uh, and supplier sites over here so number of suppliers we have one and supplier sites we have one so after performing addition we will get total of these two is two and next we have number of suppliers one and number of supplier sites 11 so after adding suppliers and supplier sites we will get 12 which is the addition or sum of these two number of suppliers and supplier sites so this is about uh, the calculated fields in the otbi analysis and uh, if uh, here this time we have performed our calculation uh, in the uh, supplier real time information uh, subject area now if we want to perform our calculation for uh, payables invoices transactions real time so the process will be same we have to here we have to use uh, uh, the payables invoices transactions real time so let's see this one also click on this new calculated measure click on this one and here i am going to uh, provide the name total amount or uh, i'm going to pro provide actual amount for the column name actual amount sorry actual amount so and what i will do over here uh i am going to select the invoice detail dimension and under invoice detail invoice amount and uh, 
what uh, columns we have included in our analysis from this invoice amount dimension uh, invoice amount and total tax charge so i am going to what i will do over here i am uh, subtracting the total tax charge from the invoice amount so firstly i am going to select this invoice amount in the column field column formula area and here i have to provide the minus operator as i am subtracting the invoice uh, total tax charge from the invoice amount and next i am going to select the total tax charge column or measure and click on okay and here we can see the uh, subtraction of these two amounts to uh, invoice amount and total tax charge so if uh, uh, we will check for this one 13464.12 minus 1168.12 so when we check for this one by subtracting 13464.12 minus 1168.12 then we will get this result 12296 so 12296 and if we check for this one 72829.92 minus 631.85 then we will get this result six double six five one zero five one point zero seven so this is about uh, the calculated fields in the otbi analysis so click uh, save this one so i am uh, choosing this time or selecting save as option and otbi analysis with calculated fields click on okay one more time i'm i have to click on save option and go to the catalog option And this is the one which we have just created OTBI analysis with calculated fields. Open this one. Then we'll be able to see the results for this analysis. And here we have in this, we have performed calculations. Like we have calculated the number of suppliers and number of supplier sites. After that, we have uh, this, uh, this, this calculation. Basically, we have performed uh, uh, for the supplier real-time subject area and for getting the actual amount uh, by deducting the total tax charge from the invoice amount. We have applied this uh, uh, calculation for the payables, invoices, transactions, real-time subject area and so what we have seen today we have seen how do we use two subject areas within the otbi analysis and next we have seen how to be how do we perform some calculations in the otbi analysis and this is all about our today's session if you have any question regarding this please reach out to us at www.bisptrainings.com so this is all about today thank you everyone for watching